But before anything, we'd love to invite Ghana to please step forward to lead us in the opening prayer. The presence of the number one citizen of Ekiti State, who at the beginning of the inception of his government, discovered that all loans to his had been stopped and taking up loans to all categories of workers in Ikiti State. Categories of workers in Ikiti State should not be in arrears. And according to the head of service during the civil service week, he did a put up to date so that when you are you want to also appreciate Mr. Governor for he gives automatic approval. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let us appreciate him to laugh. Because when we go with development and transformation, the city of Adwekiti, the state capital, has taken a new look and we are all proud of the city of Adwekiti now. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Governor. We appreciate your efforts in the education sector. All of us have here have to do it in the health sector and in challenging Mr. Governor in the state, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, the government of the Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to welcome into this arena the Secretary to the State Government, and Haji Dr. Gani Owolabi, you are very much welcome, sir. 
Mr. Patrick Olupomi from Osaya MNR. You're welcome, sir. Just a little while ago, Mr. Governor instituted the ball, now putting a round peg in a round hole. This commission to make local government service commission bubble once again, and this is part of the bubbling we are seeing in the local government service commission. Ladies and gentlemen, Chairman, local government service commission. <laughs> Honorable Chief Rotti at DBC for the welcome address. Shall I put our hands together, please? It is my pleasure and privilege to welcome Your Excellency, the Governor of Ekiti State, Dr. John Gardi Fayemi, to this occasion of the disbursement of loans to members of staff of the Local Government Service. On behalf of the Local Government Service Commission, and the entire staff of the local government in the Kitty State. I wish to sincerely thank you, sir, for granting the approval for the disbursement of the loans to the staff. For almost a year now, approval. For almost a year now, circumstances beyond the control of the commission has hindered the loan disbursement to local government staff of the state. Kindly permit me, Your Excellency, to put on notice here that you express instant displeasure at the situation when the information reached your office. You instantly directed that all hurdles must be crossed to ensure that checks got to the beneficiaries without further delay. It is, however, with a view to making you witness our compliance with your directive that we have invited your excellency for this ceremony once again we sincerely thank you for the interest and love which you have shown your excellency kindly permit, permit me to inform you that in order to justify the confidence which you repose in my humble self and the honorable members of the, the state local government service commission we have swung into our statutory duties. Apart from our fundamental routine plenary assignments, we have embarked on familiarization tour of the local government headquarters offices to interact with our staff. In doing so, interface has been established in relation to their orientation and performance at work. Constraints as well as other issues bordering on their welfare as workers and partners in progress with the government. I'm therefore happy and confident to inform you, sir, that the Commission is already armed with pertinent information to enable us synergize with the staff in further moving the local government service forward in the state. I have no doubt that Your Excellency will continue to support us in our assignment. At this junction, it is pertinent to inform Your Excellency that from the knowledge gathered so far, the local government workers under the umbrella of Norge in Ekiti State consist of people of integrity, industry, accountability, and resource orientation. They are as eagerly concerned as, if not more than, government in instilling sanity in the local government administration system. They are therefore worthy partners in government quest for sanity and the other versions requisite for sustainable progress and development for posterity. In the circumstances, I wish to state that the local government system in the state deserves continued support as a reliable partner in progress. Much as I can assure government of cooperation from the local government staff, therefore I also have no doubt that we will continue to enjoy support from Your Excellency as we are having right now. Today, 
a total of 383 members of staff will be benefiting from loans consisting of 195 housing loans and 188 car loans. The financial commitment is 121 million 150,000 Naira only. There is no gain saying that the entire local government system in the state is happy at this development. Many other workers of the local government are expecting their own turns to come. I have also informed them that the governor, Dr. John Kao de Fayemi, is there for them. Your Excellency, I know the passionate love that you have, not only for the local government staff, but the entire workers in the state. Our prayer is that the Almighty God will continue to give you the good health, wisdom, resources to continue to support the workers in the state. In conclusion, I wish to once again welcome all the government functionaries here present. Thank you for honoring our invitation and gracing this occasion. Thank you all and God bless you. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, getting to the high point of this event, as we shall be listening to it. The beneficiaries of today's loan, great workers of the Giti State Local Government, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm very delighted to be in your midst this morning for the official presentation of checks to beneficiaries of the Local Government Staff Loan Scheme. Obviously, it will be recalled that one of the cardinal objectives of the present administration is to make poverty history in our state. One bold step in achieving this is empowerment of government workers who constitute the most reliable vessels for spreading the dividends of democracy through the multiplied effects inherent in their purchasing power. Fully aware of this fact, this administration and assumption of office restored the vehicle and housing loan packages, which had been on suspension for unjustifiable reasons before we came into office. <laughs> Consequently, workers, especially public servants in the state, resumed the enjoyment of both housing and vehicle loans without hindrance. If the same benefits are applied, to the local government service, my presence here this morning will not be necessary. However, it was with great discomfort that I received the information that disbursement of loans to local government staff in the state had been in abeyance for about one year. This ought not to be so, in view of the fact that government has continued to make provision for the loan package. And those who had taken earlier loans had also not shirked their responsibility by paying back. It has therefore become imperative that all facilities for human and material must be harnessed to open the same gate of benefit, obtaining in the state civil service to the local government workers. Let me stay at this juncture the government will continue to make funds available for loan disbursement to local government workers in order to empower them to meet the challenges posed by the prevailing economic reality in our country. <laughs> by so doing, the private sector on which government workers are interdependent would also become indirectly empowered. Against this background, I wish to congratulate the beneficiaries who are receiving checks for various amounts today. I must, however, stress 
the need for judicious utilization of the loan. The checks are not made for parade. They're not made for marrying new wives and new husbands. <laughs> Neither are the amounts made for long-time decoration in the bank accounts. Otherwise, the risk of fraudsters and avoidable depreciation might set in. There is the need for proper planning and wise utilization so that the aim of governments in empowering beneficiaries could be realized. I wish you God's blessing on your respective ventures and decisions, be it on land, on housing, on the purchase of vehicles. Finally, I wish to reiterate once again that the present administration is worker friendly. Everything possible will continue to be done to protect the welfare of genuine workers, both at the state and at the local government level. It is in this regard that I wish to dispel the unfounded rumor making the rounds in some quarters that this government has retrenched or is planning to retrench local government workers. Retrenchment of workers, I must emphasize, is not the same as sanitization of the system. Sanitization entails proper placement of staff, reading the system of people who have either overstayed illegally or have entered the system by fraudulent means. These attitudes constitute a serious malady, particularly to genuine workers, and this cannot be condoned by any responsible government in the interest of posterity and the generality of our people. On this note, I call for the understanding from our brothers and sisters in the local government system. We must join hands in building a bureau local government administration, which all of us can be proud of, even after our exit from the system. If it is state belongs to all of us, we are all stakeholders, and we must join and in building the system. I wish to commend in this regard the cooperation, even if sometimes critical, of the leadership of Nolge, who has engaged government on these issues since the matter has come up uh, in the forefront of the administration's work. If anybody claims to have been retrenched without justifiable reasons, I urge the person to protest through the appropriate channels well known to workers and is our case will be looked into with dispatch. There is no doubt that sometimes there may be errors of commission or omission in any process. It is also logical that when they occur, they are rectified without let or hindrance. But what I find unacceptable and must not be condoned is allegations that are unfounded and rumors that are clearly unsubstantiated. I wish to thank the present Local Government Service Commission for living up to expectations so far under the leadership of the Frontier ABC. Your graph should continue to rise and should not fall. Yeah. I'm eager to see many more staff of the local government benefit from the loan package in no distant time. As you know, this is one government that will never shy away from its responsibility and its responsiveness to the people of Ekiti. 
the minute I notice that your graph is falling, you know I will show you the way out. Government will continue to do what is in the ultimate best interest of Ekiti people. And government will continue to provide necessary support as much as possible to all our workers. Once again, I wish to congratulate the beneficiaries of today. And I wish to emphasize that to whom much is given, much is also expected. Thank you. God bless you. Presentation of checks to local government. Local government service commission. Oluwa ye roti mi di. Ade kile bose de housing loan from Boyi local government. Oguto ashe Richard Yemi housing loan from loan sport from local government service commission. Ogunipe Jide, car loan from Loans Board, loan from Loans Board. Damishaye Theresa, car loan from Ikere Local Government. Adeumi Sherifat, housing loan from Irepogo Infelobo Local Government. On this note, we'd love to take the women first. All glory and honor belongs to the Almighty God for making today a reality. We appreciate your effort in approving this loan to the beneficiaries. We pray that the Almighty God will continue to meet you at the point of your need. So also, according to the famous Oliver Twist, which continues to ask for more, I implore your excellency, sir, to continue to give us this loan to other colleagues. Thank you and God bless you. We want to thank the God Almighty for making today a reality. I equally want to thank the government of Ekiti State. Today, we have brought joy to the home of 383 home beneficiaries in the local government service, in the local government service. And I pray that the things like this, the thing of joy, will never cease from your home in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> equally, we want to thank the chairman of the local government service commission, and that is the person of Honorable Chief Roti Adebisi. You came in. Can we give you a round of applause again? You came in at the right time. You have spent just a brief period. And during that brief period, you have equally brought joy into our home. And I pray that joy will not cease from your home in the mighty name of Jesus. And on behalf of the loan beneficiaries, we promise that this loan that has been given to us will be judiciously spent. And I pray that the Almighty God will continue to be with this government in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, Lenti, the governor of the State, the head of service, the chairman, the King Almighty God. And in fact, all my thanks will go to God today. I will not even thank His Excellency. Because we thank Almighty God for making us see this day. This day is a day we have been longing for, that we have desired to see. We thank Almighty God that it has come, and we are witnessing it. We glorify God. We thank God for the life, for the kind of governor that the Kitty State has been bestowed with. We thank God that he is a governor of our desire. 
a governor that listens to the grand struggle. A governor that listens is a listener and follows it up. Not just listening, but follows it up. A governor that will sit among common men like this, that will come personally to give us this loan. Personally, it is wonderful. We thank God for you, sir. May your shadow never glow less. With that kind of dividends of democracy that we are having now for the great transformation that is happening in Ekiti State. In fact, I want to thank you for spreading this transformation to Idoile, for that water scheme that is there that Idoile will ever remember. It is beyond our imagination. We thank you. We thank God for you. We thank God Almighty for giving the governor the wisdom to give a teeming population like this loans to build their own houses and have their own cars. We thank God Almighty. We thank God. Your Excellency, I have an appeal. Since the last one week that they knew that you are coming to give these loans, we have gotten over 50 of majority of women who are beneficiaries of the loan coming to me, amen, saying how do they obtain uh, uh, this license, learner's permit. <laughs> They'll be asking me. Then I was directing them to the licensing office. Most of them, these women, are not tall. They are of short height. <laughs> and, you know, very soon, Your Excellency, you will see our women put pillows on their seat and look up like this to cry. The appeal, Your Excellency, is to give a special instruction to the to, to the road safety to, to the uh, special instruction to those that give this permit, the learners permit, to put Lana, local government staff. <laughs> so that by the time they are coming and they are getting, they are, they are, they are, they are breaking rules of uh, the road traffic law, our men in green will just look at them and say, oh, okay, go, 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 this is our guy, let We beg of you. Your Excellency, I thank you very much for the kind of lieutenants that you have chosen for this office to assist you in your government. We thank God for the person of the Secretary to the State Government, who we all know to have always identified with progressive elements. Thank you for coming today. No, nobody puts anything. They don't put blood out. They will just say, Famo. Even 20 years, just like the biblical Jesus. Jesus say. Mention the name of Jesus is older than our great grandfather. That is good. That is how it is. What a very happy way to round up with the prayer as I write at Haji at EDP, the leaders.
automatically the people are happy. Services will be delivered in a much more effective and efficient manner. That is why we must have an amicable relationship with workers in a way that makes them happy to do their own work for the people.